hard, difficult, challenging, strenuous, and tough. Those are the words of my vocabulary. The words you'll be hearing a lot of in this video, because like for many of you, this is what my life is right now. So I'd like to present to you a busy, stressful, productive, and monumental what I eat in a week as a first year university student. Could you replay this again? I left so many memories And I miss all of my friends A man is only a story Hi guys! So it's been some time. Now, not gonna lie, I've been really trying to adjust to university life, which is why my upload schedule is so messed up. But I am really giving it my all because even though school is my top priority, after my mental and physical health, of course, YouTube and you guys are my second family and I don't wanna leave anytime soon, which is why my goal is to post at least one long video every month. And then when things get easier, I'll hopefully start posting more often. I'm trying my hardest to somehow make time for everything I want, creating content, learning French, going on walks, playing video games with my dad and sister, making delicious meals, and more. And I think after lots of trial and error, I might have finally found a system that could keep my sanity in check. And in this video, I want to share what I'm doing to thrive and succeed in my first official year at university. Yep, you heard that right. Your girl is all grown up, still however feeling like a child among all her way more mature colleagues. So one video a month does sound like a piece of cake, and I hope I can stick to it and don't end up ghosting all of you because it's definitely not unlikely considering how hard school is right now. I mean, I've never swear like this before, but it just feels good to let it all out. And that's what happens. University takes over, piles up not only lots of assignments due on the same day, but also lots of emotion. Can I do it? Can I pass the test, achieve more than a 70 on my lap for once, balance eating healthy, working out on YouTube? Will I even graduate? Am I ever going to learn how to learn? Is what I'm doing right now good enough? Do I have to step up my game? When high school came around, overthinking was my middle name, but now with university, it has become my first name. Some seem to have it so easy. They seem to find time for everything. Others have all the pieces to the puzzle and I'm just missing some. I guess it all just takes time, but I'm so impatient. I'm probably the most impatient I've ever been. I'm at the point where life will be changing dramatically. New school environment, new friends, teachers, opportunities, jobs, and I want all those changes to happen now. But really, where's the rush? We're only getting older anyway, so really enjoy your time as an adolescent or whatever stage you're in because life really does get harder from there. So many good things are ahead as well as some bad. The beauty of change, adjustment, improvement is seeing it come in increments. Then you'll be able to really take each one in. So even though I might not have all the pieces to the puzzle right now, I'll get to that point someday and you will too. As of right now, just enjoy the process. Speak with my eyes, speak with my eyes, there's no surprise, it's only Hey guys, so I just finished with the gym. That was such a sweaty workout. I actually had so much fun. This is my first time at the campus gym. It was so, so fun. There were surprisingly not a lot of people, so I wasn't nervous to film. Definitely got a lot of footage. And now I'm in the washroom and I'm gonna change because I have a class at seven o'clock and it is 6.20, so I gotta hurry. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Speaking of change in university, why haven't I told you what I'm majoring in and where I'm attending? So I'm a student at the University of Waterloo in a very exciting program, Global Business and Digital Arts. I think I found the right major for me, which combines real world business skills with the digital arts, such as videography, graphic design, etc. And you guys already know I'm a huge fan of editing, filming, and creating visually appealing content. And with this program, I'll be able to bring all my skills into the business side of things, creating advertisements, learning marketing, and how to thrive in a fast evolving society. I'm officially starting the fun concepts of this program in the winter term, but for now I'm taking all the prerequisites needed for it, such as basic coding, which it's literally so confusing and is something I'm never doing again. I'm also taking a few electives, two of them being philosophy and psychology, both very time consuming, heavy reading and writing courses, but in a calm environment with lo-fi music, they can be surprisingly hey guys, okay, enjoyable. So a few days ago, I bought this monster energy drink. I still haven't tried it out, so I probably should give it a try. It's super cold. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. 
Honestly, it really reminds me of Sprite. It really does. It's Thanksgiving, which means a few days off of school. During high school, I didn't really appreciate all the weekends I had, but with university, I had to put a pause at all sorts of things, like reading mystery novels, watching YouTube videos, or playing board games with my mom and dad. So when holidays come around, now I take them all in and spend as much time with family and loved ones. Today as a fun trip, my family and I decided to visit Niagara Falls, and of course, I had to bring my camera along to capture all the beauty. This trip was simple in the most fascinating ways. Look, life shouldn't be complicated. You don't need this huge workout or diet routine, nor do you need to know everything about health and fitness to live a balanced life. Sometimes the most simple workouts and simple meals can get you further, can help you stay consistent. And especially with school and so many other things on our plate, we don't have time to complicate things. It's not a bad thing to live a simple life, and simple doesn't have to be boring. Really, simplicity is what makes something so beautiful. Simplicity turns daunting and challenging tasks into something Something effortless. At least that's what I think. Hey guys, so for dinner today, I'm gonna eat this red bean bread that I got from the Chinese store. I've seen people eat them on YouTube and they look so, so good. And honestly, I decided to buy one and just try it out. This beauty, you guys. It's so soft. 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 <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie, life isn't sunshine and rainbows right now. It's tough. I'm becoming an adult and I feel like I'm still not ready. But you know what? Everything will be okay. We'll survive. We will somehow pass the test, submit that assignment, and still have time to hang out with friends and spend time with family. As worried as you might be right now, that worrying will fade. You'll experience joy and laughter. Don't let school restrict your positivity. And if anything, school is here to challenge you to find glimpses of happiness even through the hard times. So how you gonna move like that? And the sound fries when I move back now high school, college, university, you're not only learning time management between school and personal life, you're also managing your mentality, how to see the good in failure and criticism. Now, I've always thought and still do sometimes think that failure is a curse and it's only something the weakest people experience, but I've learned to see failure in a different light. I treat it as a sign, an acknowledgement that I need to change something. Failure in a goal that I'm trying to achieve doesn't mean the goal wasn't meant to be. It just means I'm not putting enough effort into it to make it reality. With failure, you're building grit. You're exercising the keep going and never give up muscle. Now, I'm not saying never failing is bad. It's good not to fail. It means that the methods you're using are working. But a person who has never experienced difficult times is going to see things quite differently than a person who has. Here's a little example. If you watch Gilmore Girls, you know that Rory, the main character, is very gifted, talented, and she seems to have things easy, always getting praised by her mother and rich grandparents. She even gets into Yale, becomes valedictorian, and experiences so many rewarding opportunities to help her get closer to becoming a journalist. But when she hears that she doesn't have what it takes for Mitchum, her grandfather's colleague and boyfriend's father, she breaks down. This one tiny criticism changes the direction of her whole life. Because she wasn't used to criticism nor failure, when all of this hit her, she didn't know how to act. She had a hard time coming back up. Now, I hope this quick example has helped you see failure and criticism in a different way because it sure I has for me but I'm gonna leave this for my sister because she hasn't had any yet so like I said I used to run away from those two things not knowing that they are essential for a successful life now I try my best to appreciate any sort of criticism I get even though it can be very hard sometimes I make sure any failure that I experience doesn't end up stabbing me in the heart I try to take those things and learn from them you know sometimes I even feel guilty when people give me compliments I'm just scared that my ego is gonna inflate and I'm gonna think I'm all that when I'm really 
really not. I still have so much to learn, so many mistakes to make, so many heartbreaks and hard times to go through and dropping all the things you love just because you don't think you have a talent or what it takes is not an answer and should never be an option. If you love it, then keep going. Like Bob Marley and my grandma said, love is all you need in everything and anything you do. With December slowly approaching, I've been getting into the Christmas spirit by starting my day off with a cup of warm hot chocolate. I love having a cup before breakfast as it gives me a boost of energy and even though it's pretty sugary, I'm not a huge coffee drinker so hot cocoa is my alternative. And then some mornings I also go into a quick session of language learning before I start my schoolwork and this was one of those mornings. Salut tout le monde, uh, bonjour, uh, c'est une nouvelle semaine et aujourd'hui je vais dire uh, une nouvelle histoire sur ma vie. J'ai commencé à apprendre à conduire il y a quelques mois. Pour être honnête, c'est effrayant, mais je pense que m'améliore à chaque fois. Okay, so I practiced a little bit of French and now I'm gonna work on some Russian. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of talk to myself. Uh, now I speak fluently in Russian, so this is not really like difficult for me. But the reason I'm doing it is just because uh, I can learn new words and vocabulary. Значит, я начала учиться, ну учиться водить машину всего несколько месяцев назад и честно говоря я это довольно страшно для меня но я думаю что с каждым разом у меня будет получаться все лучше и лучше тренируюсь я на машине ездить уже почти каждый день я понимаю что вождение это требует очень много практики и очень много терпения и внимания я бы хотела и когда-нибудь стать профессиональным водителем и может быть стану когда-нибудь ну все получится I was really extremely happy to know that university was finally opened back up because that means I'm able to try out many of the activities and clubs offered and one of the things I was really excited to try was the gym of course you guys I haven't been in a gym for two years now and as much as I love home workouts the gym atmosphere is different being around people who are also after the same or at least similar goals is refreshing and even though I don't know anyone personally it's like we're all connected and if I ever want to make a friend I can start in the gym but but honestly, I'd probably be too shy for that. Good morning, everyone. I'm in a study hall with a beautiful view, and I am going to finish editing my video, and then I'm gonna go and just finish some schoolwork. It's reading week, and it's the morning, so right now, no one is in this area, which is really nice. I get to record for you guys without embarrassment, and yeah, I'm gonna edit my video. Let's get started. But with that said, as packed as the gym is, it still feels like I'm the only person in a sense. Everyone's so focused on their own workout, listening to their own music, they don't pay attention to others. They're there for their own achievements. So if you're ever nervous to attempt a gym, don't be. In my opinion, it's a judgment-free place. No one is thinking about anyone but themselves. And as selfish as that sounds, that's the truth, and this truth doesn't have to be negative. If anything, it's better for you. This mindset is allowing me to go all out, wearing tight leggings, crop top, and filming myself are things I wouldn't dare to do before. With this one quick perception and mindset shift, my whole world changed. Or at least my whole world in the gym changed. Hey guys, so I just finished training at the gym and I'm so sweaty. I trained for around an hour and that was so, so good. This is the fit I wore as you guys saw. So, so comfortable. I love the colors, I love the pattern, and I love how it kept me very nice and secure. I feel really confident in it. It's crazy that a simple shift of thinking can transform your life and open new possibilities, which comes to show that we can customize our world to some extent. So use the skill of customization for the better.
I didn't realize this before, but with university comes a lot of studying, way more than high school ever had. I went from studying for three to four hours to now studying for about seven to eight. Funny thing is, I really thought I could get away with just four hours, and that's exactly how many I was aiming for at the start. But soon I started falling behind, experiencing unnecessary stress, almost handing in assignments late or doing them poorly because I didn't place school at the top of my priority list. You know, as much as I love to make YouTube my job, that's just far from my reach right now. Dropping everything just to pursue something that's so unpredictable is just such a bad decision on my end, and whether or not it'll be something I regret is too risky to prove. So I'm going to take the safe way, still pursue YouTube on the side, but also have other career options in mind. Yes, maybe taking the safe way won't get me to 1 million subscribers, but that's okay. As awesome and celebratory making videos is, we always have what it takes to reach higher. Of course, with this high level is is something different for everyone hey guys so i'm just doing school in just in bed just because i don't know i feel like it's really comfortable and i'm gonna have an apple right now for a little snack before lunch usually i like to have lunch at around two o'clock and it's almost two o'clock so i'll have a little pre-lunch snack and i think for me youtube is a door opener for more wonderful opportunities look i believe it's never wrong to want more i'm sure we all want to chase the next big thing we are all craving for new excitement and as long as you are genuinely grateful for everything you have now wanting more is still within your reach and wanting more doesn't mean you're ungrateful for the present if anything you understand that life is short and you want to take it as a challenge to achieve as many of your dreams as possible while I'm studying, I want to thank Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, then you're missing out. It's an online learning community for lifelong learners and creators who want to enhance their craft or just discover something new. The reason I love Skillshare so much is it's such a diverse platform. You can find anything from productivity, business, language learning, graphic design, video creation, etc. A class that I've recently finished is the Staples of Branding from Purpose to Product by Jeff Staple, founder of Staple Design and Apparel Company. It helped answer a lot of the startup questions I had about a product-based brand and a really did inspire me to expand my creativity outside of YouTube. The great part about Skillshare is there are no ads and you can even download classes through their mobile app for learning on the go. So the first a thousand of you to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Definitely don't miss out on this opportunity. Guys, I didn't think I'd say this, but studying can be very relaxing and fun sometimes. And you know, the one big thing that has made studying that much more doable is music. Any music, preferable with no words, is going to make school fly by. My favorite has been lo-fi music, jazz, and especially electronic instrumental music. I'll leave my favorite study music channels in the description. Definitely check them out and let me know if you listen to music while studying. Let's talk about sleep. I've always thought it was so cool to wake up at 6 or even 5 a.m. It seems like every productive nerd and straight-A student is doing this across YouTube. And that's what I was doing consistently for more than a month, waking up at 6 a.m. every single day. It was hard, even for a morning person like me. And after stopping the 6 a.m. wake-up routine, I felt out of the loop. I felt like I had less hours in a day. But really, it's not when you wake up. It's how wisely you use your time after awakening. If you wake up at 6 a.m. and just now for the remainder of the day, then maybe it's better to wake up later knowing that you'll be a lot more energized. That's why I set my alarm to seven. I feel like that's the ideal time for me. And even though it's just one hour later, one hour is a big deal. And this extra hour changes the whole turn to my day. If you can still fit in a mix of personal hobbies in school, even when waking up later, then that's still a win. You never want to pick up You never want to do the things that are inconvenient You say you're gonna pull up 
university is a challenge. I mean, we can all conclude that. I'm going to keep having tough, stressful days, days full of tears and, and days where I would want to quit. There's no running away from that. But I've realized that you have to fight through some bad days to earn the best years of your life. So make whatever stage in your life you're in right now count because you'll be in that stage only once. And it's better to give it all you got than to look back and wonder what you could have done to make things different, to make things better. Don't stop because it's intimidating. Don't stop because you feel powerless or you feel you're not ready. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. See you.